Hi everyone, my name is Austin Tidings. I'm a local real estate agent in Virginia Beach in the greater Hampton Roads area. In today's video, we are going to discuss the neighborhoods Malibu and Birchwood. This video is made for if you want to know more about the Malibu and Birchwood neighborhoods in Virginia Beach. We're going to discuss the neighborhood, how it looks, how it feels, the area, the schools, the crime, the shopping, and what's there to do around there. And let's dive right into it. A little history about these neighborhoods. Malibu was developed in the 1960s with a California theme. That's hint the name Malibu. It actually used to have a really cool um, like landmark with the word Malibu on it when you used to, to go into the neighborhood. It was made of coral from Florida and it was actually torn down in 1988 in 15 minutes and uh, a car dealership was later built in its place. The neighborhood has tropical street names like Mango Drive, Coconut Lane, and Royal Palm Arch. As far as the history for Birchwood, it's the same as Malibu. It started getting developed around the 1960s. There were some homes prior, but it really started developing and growing in the 1960s to where it is today. And it's a very middle income class neighborhood in Virginia Beach. A lot of military because you're so close to the interstate there. And let's dive into what's to do around the area. All right, so as you can see, Birchwood and Birchwood Gardens is right here, right next to Thalia, actually, bordering Thalia. And then to the east of Birchwood is Malibu. It's a little bit smaller, but Malibu and Birchwood, I'm going to lump them together. They're very similar. As you can see right here, this is a really cool park back here where you can actually go all the way to the water and some cool trails back here too. There's some tennis courts, a playground, and a little bit of open field. There's also the Malibu Elementary School dead middle in the neighborhood. The main road in these neighborhoods is the Edinburgh Drive, which actually goes through Thalia too, which you see right along the bottom here. So here's the Hampton Roads, here's Virginia Beach. Birchwood and Malibu are smack dab central central ish in hampton roads but very central in virginia beach you're only about 10 to 15 minutes to the ocean front 15 20 minutes to the shore drive to downtown norfolk you're about 15 20 minutes to chesapeake you're about 15 20 minutes if you're heading towards the greenbrier area but there's lots to do that are very close to to this area here because as you can see you're right next to virginia beach boulevard right off of virginia beach boulevard actually and you're right off of the expressway you know less than five minutes to get on the expressway to go anywhere as far as things to do in the area there's the mount trashmore park which is highly sought after in virginia beach everyone loves going there there's the town center, which is right here, you know, Apex Entertainment, which has indoor go-karting and what is it like 3D golf? I've done that there before. Or the the neon golf. Um whole lots of different restaurants. Right in front of Malibu and Birchwood, you have the Lowman's Plaza. Uh, I believe this is Collins Corner and yeah, that's and Birchwood Shopping Center also, which there's all the fast foods you need, lots of local places. There's Hair of the Dog. There's a really good Peruvian chicken place in there too. There's also the library that's right next to the neighborhood. There's an Aldi's. I mean, there's there's a little bit of everything right here, so you're you're not gonna have to worry about getting bored because there's just so much to do around the neighborhood and within the neighborhood. It's it's a walkable neighborhood. Um, you don't have to worry about 
you know, traffic from a main road going through the, the most busy road in the neighborhood is Edinburgh just because it connects Little Neck to, to Thalia Road, which are two main roads. And even just down the street, we have Princess Anne High School, which is this is the high school for the neighborhood. Not even that far. I mean, you could definitely bike there if, if they wanted to. As you can see, it's it's mildly wooded. It's, it's a lot more wooded back once it gets closer to the water like in Thalia, but there's a good amount of trees. You have shade. It's one of my favorite parks right here is the, the Birchwood Malibu Park. There's trails that go back here to the water, open, open grass, and there's some playgrounds, some tennis courts, some parking, but overall a great neighborhood. And there's the Malibu Elementary School right in the middle of the neighborhood. And then all the shopping center, there's actually a Home Depot too, right there. Yeah, lots of shopping off of Virginia Beach Boulevard, lots of great restaurants. One of my favorite is right here. It's called Old Beach Tavern. Great restaurant. Highly recommend going there. So in Malibu and Birchwood, you're going to find a lot of three, four bedrooms with two to three bathrooms. Plus, they were all built in the 60s. So it's come time that now some of the older ones are going to be needing updated. If they haven't been updated yet, some good fix and flip opportunities back here. Great rental opportunities back here with rents anywhere between seventeen to twenty four hundred dollars a house. I mean, it's it's crazy. And I think this neighborhood is a big sleeper neighborhood. It gets skimmed over a lot when when you're looking just for a, a decent home in Virginia Beach, a three four with two to three bathrooms in the the 300 to 400 range. This is one of the neighborhoods I'm recommending because it's in a great area. It's centrally located in Virginia Beach and you can't go wrong with all those factors. Now I think Birchwood and Malibu are sleeper neighborhoods which get looked over way too often. I mean, the investment opportunity is there. The appreciation in the neighborhood is there. And it just being in Virginia Beach makes it a great house. Now, the average price in this neighborhood can be anywhere as low as 300 to the high 300s, which is a decent price range in Virginia Beach. That's the average price. The average price is around 330,000, maybe a tad bit more in the neighborhood. But you do get a, a three to four bedroom home which in some neighborhoods that can be anywhere up towards a million dollars in Virginia Beach. As far as schools, they have Malibu Elementary smack dab in the middle. And then for high schools is Princeton High School, which is a highly sought after high school in the area. Definitely do some research on greatschools.com and nice.com. As far as crime, do your research on neighborhoodscout.com. Uh, it is a great area. Um, I'm not afraid to to walk around on the streets there at all whatsoever. And I definitely think you should give this a check out if you're looking for that 300 to uh, high 300 house in Virginia Beach with a, a fenced in yard, a little bit of a yard. The houses are a little bit on the closer end of things like being next to each other wish there was a little bit more space but overall you have the neighborhood feel there's lots of families that live in the neighborhood and you're going to meet your neighbors and everything and there's a civic league too for the neighborhood on facebook i'll put that down below and i hope you enjoy this video that really summarizes everything and please reach out to me if you want to see any of the homes in the neighborhood or if you have any other questions and if you want to see a neighborhood review please leave it in the comments or reach out to me directly. That means a lot. Please subscribe. All my social media is below. And I hope you all have a great day. Take care.